Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Robbie and we've got Molly. But don't just sit there, Pickles. Let's do something new. What's there? Mirrors. Bring them over. We can pull the silliest face. Robbie, and we've got Molly. But someone's missing from home today. Ah, oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Ah, oh, it's Lisa with Raymond. Hello there. Raymond. Hiya, Granny Murray. Oh, and Lisa. Come on, we do honey pies and see everyone. <laughs> What's going on here then? Oh, we've been pulling Silly faces into mirrors, haven't we? <laughs> but we'll do something new now Lisa's here. Why don't you dress Claude up in the silliest clothes you can find? <laughs> and why don't we do a silly walk over to the seats? <laughs> oh, I love coming round to see you, Granny Murray. It's always so happy and giggly. Oh, that's nice of you to say so, Pumpkin. You see, I believe that smiles spread and so do frowns. Oh, you're right there. And that's just how I like everything in the boofy car. All happy and smiley, frowns are banned. Oh yes, <laughs> life's too short to be miserable. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, oh here, I'm taking the children to see some street theatre and your Tina's in it. <laughs> oh yes, it's her one woman version of the importance of being earnest. Oh, she'd been rehearsing for weeks. Oh, I can't wait. She'd be a good laughing. <laughs> Will you look at Claude? <gasps> Claude, you look a real hoot, man. <laughs> you look brilliantly silly. Well done, everyone. Hey, thanks, Lisa. My very own silly face mirror. What's this? <laughs> right, well, I better get to work. Bye-bye, gorgeous. <laughs> Come on, then. Now remember, I believe that smiles spread and so do frowns. Thanks, Granny Murray. You guys have a fun day. We'll be thinking of you, darling. Me too. Now, will you keep a wee eye on Raymond? Make sure he gets the right way to work. I'm a bit late for work today. Can you tell me a quick way to get there? Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work I take a, take a ticket on the metro I'll be, 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 be there quite quick Hurry, hurry, hurry on the train lines Clatter, clatter, clatter at the point Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down Clatter, clatter, clatter through the streets Now squeaking, squeaking to our stop I'm in, 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 in a hurry I really, really need to get to work. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. Phew, here we are. So what next? Ah, yes, I have to get changed into my smart uniform. All dressed and ready to go. Ooh, Lisa's mirror. What sort of face shall I put on for work today? Smiley face? Frowny face? Smiley face? Yep, it's a smiley face for me today. Hey, Raimondo! Rudy, great to see you. You going somewhere nice? I'm just off to Helen's Bridge to meet Louie. The Ferry Boat Band have been playing there all week. Today's the last show. Oh, I can't wait to see her. Does Louie know you're coming? No, it's a surprise. I thought it'd be nice to travel back together. Ah, uh, true love. Oh, Raymond, don't get all soppy on me. Hey, here's one for you. When's a meringue not a meringue? I don't know. When is a meringue not a meringue? <gasps> when it's a turnip! <gasps> That was, that's just silly. <laughs> I know, I know, but it made you smile. <laughs> it did, actually. I wonder how Lisa is doing. She always makes me smile. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, that's for me. Bye bye, Lisa. I'll see you soon, Angel. Oh, good girl. Bye bye. 
<gasps> I wish I could be a fly in the wall to see Lisa at nursery. Happy? Daddy. I hope you're having fun, Lise. Hey, Raimondo! I was wondering whether I could ask for a favour. Of course. It's always service with a smile at my boofy car. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Right, I was wondering whether I could order a nice meal for the return journey. Kind of an extra surprise for Louis for after I meet her. Yes, no problem. What meal would you like? There's the one-star meal. Oh, what's in that? It's basically a baked potato with cheese. Hmm, maybe not. Right, well, then there's the two-star meal, ham and tomato toasted sandwich with green salad. Hmm, maybe. Anything else? Well, how about the three-star meal, roasted vegetables with couscous? Oh, that's it! It's Louis' favourite. Perfect. Oh, she'll be happy as Larry if you dish that up. <laughs> Glad to hear it, Rudy. Right, it'll be ready on the return trip. Tom Keys or Raymond. Oh, I'll see you later, mate. Bye. Right, it looks like I've got food to get ready, so I'd better get down to some hard work. I love my train. Or tea. I'm just very happy serving you. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day, making special moments on my way. I'll tell a joke and toast some cheese on toast. Oh, I walk, walk, walk all day, bringing smiles and happiness my way. Being nice is what I love the most. Six So happy being me, meeting all the people on the train. Can I help and clear your things? If there is a problem, I'll explain. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day, wheeling trolleys, weaving to this way. I'll do a trick and make the journey quick. Oh, I walk, walk, walk each way, loving all the things I do each day, bringing smiles and happiness my way. It was a busy couple of hours. <laughs> Two o'clock. We'll be heading back on the return trip any sec. I'd better start getting Rudy's three-star meal ready. <laughs> Bobby, good afternoon. Are you taking up the trumpet? No, I'm just pretending, Raymond. I've just been to see the Ferryboat Band's last show in Helen's Bridge. Oh, Louie was fantastic on the trumpet. She is a talented girl. <laughs> We're off home on the return journey. Bang on time! <laughs> That's what I like to see. Someone happy at their work. Ah, yes. Just spread a little happiness as time goes by. <laughs> Can I get you anything? No, not at the moment, thanks. I had a butty after the show. No, I think I'm just going to go off and practice my air trumpet playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Chuck. Great show. Ah, oh, thanks, Bobby. Can I have a bottle of water, please, I'm on there? Right up. There you are. Mm -hmm. We've just seen Rudy. Louis was over the moon to see him. A real nice surprise. So it smiles all round then. You bet. They'll be coming in for their meal soon. Oh, well I better get on with making it. <laughs> What's with the mirror? Oh, Lisa gave it to me. Make a funny face, Chuck. That's not so hard for me. <laughs> Take it easy. Bye. I hope you're smiling too, Lisa. I love you, Mr. Where's your mum, Lisa? <laughs> <coughs> Why, Jack? Could you possibly pass me a cucumber sandwich? <laughs> Why, Mr. Worthington, that is a particularly loud cucumber sandwich. I'm sure I've not heard such a rumpus since my dear mama sat on our butler's cactus collection in the conservatory. <laughs> 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 she cried. <laughs> What 
What's that, Cecily, dear? Your tea has just too many sugars in it. Well, don't fret, for I'm sure I have some mints in my handbag. <laughs> oh, the ladies. Oh, Lisa, I wish your dad could have seen this. <laughs> Rudy and Louis, your table awaits you. Oh, is something wrong? Rudy, what's the matter? Wasn't Louis pleased to see you? Oh, yeah, but well, I forgot it was her birthday today. I knew there was something special, but it slipped my mind. Oh, whoops. Don't worry, I'll bring your meal over. That'll cheer her up. <laughs> Maybe. Hi, everyone. Um, I'll have a bottle of water, please, Raymond. What's up with everyone? Rudy forgot Louis's birthday. Uh-oh. Oh, that spoiled things. Juice, please, Raimondo. What's the buzz? All these mega sad faces. Yeah, bad news. Rudy forgot today was Louis's birthday. Oh, that's so not cool. In fact, that's Frownsville. Oh dear. I've worked hard all day to make everyone happy and smiley in the boofy car, but now just look at all these sad faces and glum frowns. How did this happen? Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped off Lisa at Granny Murray's. All the children were smiling and giggling as they made daft faces in the mirror. Granny Murray said she was taking the children to see Tina do some street theatre. At nine o'clock, Rudy came into my boofy car and told me some jokes. He was off to Helen's Bridge to meet Louis as a surprise. The ferry boat band had been doing shows there all week. At ten o'clock, Rudy came back and asked if I could make a special meal for Louis on the way home to Riversea Fingal. At 2 o'clock we started the journey back home. Bobby got on the train. She had just been to see the ferry boat band in their last show. She was really happy and smiley. So was Chuck. She told me that Louis was very happy to see Rudy. At 3 o'clock Rudy and Louis came for their meal. But they were sad instead of smiling. All because Rudy had forgotten Louis's birthday. And when they heard about it, Bobby and Chuck were sad too. They were all frowning. Now remember, I believe that smiles spread and so do frowns. Well, the frowns have certainly spread in the boofy car, so maybe I should spread some smiles instead. <laughs> it's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? He's the surest way of friends, he will get there in the end Because he knows what he should do and work it through I've got to do it He's going to do it I've got to beat the clock before the chime I've got to sort it He's going to sort it I've got to do the job on time like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. <laughs> it looks like everyone's smiling again. <laughs> but there's just one more thing. <laughs> the final smiley touch. <laughs> a birthday cake. Of course. Rudy wanted to treat you to a very special meal, considering it's your birthday. I did. I mean, I did. Happy birthday, Louis. Oh, thanks, everyone. Happy birthday, Ah, <laughs> uh, all smiles again. I wonder if there'll be a bit of cake left for Lisa. <laughs> no, but anybody like more tea? <laughs> Me too. What lovely manners you have, girls. I suppose you all know how to use your napkins. <laughs> Oh, let's enjoy your cakes. I miss you, Daddy. Hello, Raven. Hiya, Granny 
Murray. Look who's here, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Have you had a good day with Granny Murray? Oh, we've had a fab <laughs> day. <laughs> And are you going to say thank you to Granny Murray? Thank oh, you, Granny Murray. Oh, she's been the best girl, haven't you? And it's a big thank you to you from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Smile spread and so do frowns. It saved the day. Well, I never did. Come on, you two. You'll want to be off home. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Lisa. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was playing, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed in very silly clothes because we were all in a silly mood. We made funny faces into our mirrors. Then I took the children to see some street theatre. We saw lots of performers that made us laugh and giggle. But we laughed most when we saw Tina doing our one woman show. <laughs> she was hilarious. <laughs> Later on, we had a very silly tea. Meanwhile, Raymond remembered what I told him. Smile spread and so do frowns. Mmm, lovely. I love to smile and I love birthday cake too. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Hope and we've got Molly. But don't just sit there, treasures. Come on, let's have some fun. Yes. Come on then, let's get busy. We've got Molly and we've got Hope, but someone's missing from home today. <laughs> oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Jack with Rudy. Hello there. Rudy! Hi, Hi Granny Murray. There and Jack. Well done. <laughs> now Jack's here, we'll do something new. <laughs> What were you doing? We were making signs to show us our way round the room. Well, I hope there's some beeping traffic lights to help us across. <laughs> oh, not yet, but hang on. Guys, why don't you dress Claude up as a beeping traffic light? Yay! Oh, oh I think that's a sign for us to take a wee seat. <laughs> oh, lead the way. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I worked in Nicholson's department store, there were signs everywhere that were brilliant for selling everything. Today only, all stock must go. When we saw signs like those, we knew we were in for a busy day. And what sort of signs brought in the most customers? Oh, that's easy. All the signs with the word free in them worked every time. <laughs> oh dear, I hope I don't have to give away my fruit and vegetables for free to bring customers flocking to me store. Oh, I hope not too. But remember, signs help to sell things. Mm, I agree. And Louis paints most of the signs for the stall. But if I'm going to be honest about it, it's me sales pattern that does the real work for me. <laughs> Come on, ladies and gentlemen, give your feet a rest. No need to look any further. Rudy's fruit and vegetables are the best. <laughs> that was fantastic, Rudy. Oh, you can't beat a bitter patter if you ask me, Granny Murray. <laughs> me too. <laughs> hey, how's Claude looking? Oh. Like a set of traffic lights. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> now will Claude beep when we go over here? Beep, beep. Sounds like those traffic lights are working. Great job, Claude. <laughs> well done, you guys. Dad. What's this? A oh. sign for you for your stall. <gasps> yes. What does it say? It says Rudy at work. Oh, wow. Thanks, Jack. I'll put this on the stall as soon as I get to work. Here's a little. <laughs> right, you have a good day. See you later, guys. Come on, bye bye. 
Now remember, signs help to sell things. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. I'll be thinking of you, darling. Me too. Now, you keep a wee eye on Rudy and make sure he goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today I'm walking me shoes through the city views I'm stepping along and I'm swinging me arms And I'm singing my way through the city's charms I get in there, it's just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always go the way I know but can you tell me the way I go? Hey! OK, which way? And do I go left now? Or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? And which way is right? Right! OK, that way, to the market. I'm on my way to work today. I'm going this way and that away. Hello, cobbles. Hello, train. Hello, Roadworks! Hello, Tram! Hello, Sweeper! Hello, Van! He's on his way to work today Looking this way and that away Hey! Do I go up now? Or do I go down? Which way's a smile now? And which way's a frown? Up! What, this way? You told me the way to go Thank you, you showed me the way I know We've arrived! <laughs> right, down to work But first, I've got to get changed All dressed and ready to go <laughs> Oh, that'll be the perfect place to put Jack's sign Right, what's first? Ah, the fruit we got lovely hard crunchy apples, glorious smelling oranges and oh, lovely ripe pears. Oh, crumbs. The pears are a little too ripe. I'd best lower the price to sell them quickly today. Around the stores, around the stores. Hi, Rudy. Hello, love. You're both a little lively today, aren't you? Yeah, we're getting ready for work on the ferry boat. Oh, hi, Rudy. Um, have you got any bananas, please? Hey, Bobby, come and do the conga. Oh, go on then, just a quickie. <laughs> Let's all do the conga. We love to do the conga around the stalls. Woo, around the stalls. <laughs> anyway, Bobby, bananas, wasn't it? Uh, yes, please. And can I interest you in any lovely juicy pears? Um, no, thanks. They look a bit too ripe. Only a pound a kilo. It says two pound a kilo on the sign. Oh, yeah, sorry, I meant to change the sign. <laughs> Here you go. Change the price on that. There you go, Rudy. <laughs> Cheers, Bobs. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Pound a kilo? Oh, Louis Best be making tracks too. <gasps> OK. Bye, Mr Fruity. Oh. <laughs> Catch you later, Rudy. Ta we love to do the conga. We love to do the conga. Oh, Jack. <laughs> oh, I wonder how he's getting on at Granny Murray's today. I love to see him. Skipping, river sea bingle, river sea bingle, that's for me. Well, we're going to look at these signs. <gasps> Do you see that one there, the big rectangular arrow? <laughs> that says one way and the circle with 20, no more than 20 miles an hour. Signs tell you things. Now, down here, it's a very, very busy road. And there's lots of signs. Look at that one over there. That's a triangle and it says men at work. <gasps> Do you know what? That's just like the sign you made your dad today. I'm dreaming of you, Daddy. Hi, Ruddy. Oh, hello, <laughs> Tina. I've got some pears that you ordered from the wholesalers. Oh, no, not more pears. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a load. The wholesaler told me that because you'd ordered them early, you got more for your money. Oh, before I can sell these, though, I'll have to sell those pears. I'll take a melon, please. Oh, one melon, one pound, please. And how about some lovely juicy pears? Um, not today, thanks, Rudy. Maybe tomorrow. I doubt they'll be there tomorrow. I'll tell you, business has been so slow. Some of the fruit's close to being too ripe and squishy. Squishy? <laughs> it's not nice. <laughs> 
Anyway, moustache. See you later. Bye. See you later, Tina. Right, time to get down to some hard work. And dooby dooby doo. I make it look easy. What I do be do be do. And what I do is sell to you and you and you all of the veggies for a stew. But it's more than meets the eye. What I do for you as I buy and buy. While you still sleep, those fruit and veg to eat. And the flowers in the early hours So when wake up comes It's there for you The market stalls are there to view Oh the market, the market What a wonderful place oh, The hub of the people The smiles on each face oh, The market, the market Come look around Oh, the hustle, the bustle, the bubbles of sound The colours all chaotic and spilling about The smells all exotic, yeah, the market cries out Objects to excite you and draw you near The buying and the selling, cheap or dear The market, the market, I just love to be there The market is a wonderful Hello, Reggie. Hello, Granny Murray. Hello, kids. <laughs> hey, look, Jack. I've put your sign up. See? Oh, we've been having great fun. We've been looking at different signs, haven't we? Yes. Have you been busy? Oh, yeah. But still got loads of fruit left to sell. Well, never mind. I'll take four apples off your hands. Four apples coming up. One. One. Two. two three. three. Well done. Oh, and can I tempt you with any pears? Oh, no, no, thank you. I think they're a wee bit juicy to eat on the way. <laughs> there you go. Brilliant. So, are we off to spot more signs? No, we're off to the play club. Sounds exciting. I wish I could come. Oh, never mind. We'll see you later. Bye-bye, right. Rudy. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> right, time to put a bit of welly into me day. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, come and get your lovely, juicy, delicious, luscious pears. These are the juiciest pears on the market. Each of them as sweet as a nut. And I'm not asking a pound a kilo, just 50 pence a kilo, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, this is your last chance to get the bargain of the day. Oh, I'm not having much luck shifting me stock today. Huh. I hope Jack has more fun at the play club. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Juiciest pears in the market. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. 50 pence a kilo on your pears. Oh, I might have to join Jack at the play club if things don't get busy soon. Hi, Ruddy. Oh, hello, Tina. Where shall I put this other box of pears? Oh, no, not more pears. Yes, the wholesaler flagged me down and asked me to drop this off too. I haven't even sold any from the first box yet. So, it's all gone a bit pear shape. <laughs> Oh, well, at least you put a smile on me face, Tina. <laughs> oh, good luck. Cheeky chops. <laughs> Bye. See you later. Oh, so I've been working hard all day, but I've still got all these pears to sell. If I don't sell them soon, they'll all go squishy. Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped off Jack at Granny Murray's. Granny Murray told me about the signs the children were making. They even dressed Claude up as a beeping traffic light. At eight o'clock, I arrived at the market. Then Tina arrived with a box of pears from the wholesalers. I think I'd ordered too many pears to sell. At 12 o'clock, Granny Murray and Jack arrived and bought some apples, but not pears, because they were too juicy. At one o'clock, Tina returned with another box of pears from the wholesalers. I'd still not started selling any of the pears she brought earlier. Now remember, signs help to sell things. Signs do help to sell things. So, first things first, down comes the clothes sign. 
so I can go and get a new sign. And if I'm going to sell all these pairs, <laughs> it's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. I like a busy bee. I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? He's a show us we are friends. He will get there in the end. Because he has what he should do. I'm working for I'm going to do it. He's going to do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime I'm gonna sort it He's gonna start it I'm gonna do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Phew! I managed to get rid of all the old pears and lots of other fruit and vegetables too! <laughs> Granny Murray was right! A free sign really does attract the customers. Hi, Rudy. Oh. I was wondering if you had any of those pears left. Oh, yeah. And they're free if you buy something else from the store. For free? <laughs> Great. Well, then, in that case, I'll have um, a cabbage as well. <laughs> da, 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 da. That's a cabbage <laughs> and a pear free. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rudy. There you go. I'll see you later. Cheers, Bobby. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, I wonder how Jack's doing. <laughs> Triangular sign we've seen today, isn't it? <laughs> you know, that one says cafe. Oh, and open. Open and close. Yeah, boy. And look, that one over there says toilets. Now, do you need to go? Me too. Come on, your daddy will be home soon. I want to be with you, daddy. <laughs> Look who's here, Jack! <laughs> Give us a cuddle. Yeah! <laughs> Sounds like you've had a good time with Granny Murray. Yeah. Oh, we certainly did! <laughs> Say thank you to Granny Murray. Thank you! Oh, come on! What a great boy! <laughs> oh, and thanks tons from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Signs help to sell things. <laughs> and it saved the day. Oh, well, well. Come on, you two. You'll want to be off. <laughs> <laughs> come on, mate. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Bye. Come on, Jack. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was playing, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a set of beeping traffic lights to let Rudy know when it was safe for him to cross the room. Today the children were busy making signs. We saw lots of signs on the street today too. Round signs to help us cross the road and triangular signs to tell us that men were working. We had great fun spotting all the different signs in the street. There were signs at the play club too. The children had to do what the sign said, just like real drivers on the road. They even stopped at the red traffic lights. The best sign of the day was on Rudy's stall. The sign said free, and that was a big help to him when he needed to sell his fruit in double quick time. You see, signs help to sell things. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. <laughs> Come on, Pickles, don't just sit there. Let's find something new to do. Uh, you pop that one on there. That's <laughs> right. Come on then, my hearties. I've got an idea. We've got Hope and we've got Molly, but someone's missing from home today. Ah, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Who's that? Ah, it's Rebecca with Mickey John. Hello there. 
Hi, John. Hello. Oh, my God. And the beggar, the Maui three Bahari eyes and see who's here. Come on in, Rebecca, and join in the pirate ship. <laughs> there we are. Oh, why don't you all dress Claude up as a pirate? Good idea, shipmates. Oh, sounds like a saucy thing to do. Ah, we'll see salt. Let's roll on down to the forecastle. <laughs> <laughs> there she blows. <laughs> oh, oh dear, we old sea salt. What was that? Oh, it was my tummy. I forgot to have my breakfast this morning because I was so busy planning today's lessons. I'm going to teach my class about shapes. Oh, shapes. I expect the children and I will see a lot of different shapes today. I'm taking them to the river to see the sailing ship. Oh, you'll have a brilliant time playing at pirates. I would love to have been a pirate, Granny Money. It must have been so exciting. Searching desert islands for buried treasure. Four paces to the north, three paces to the west, two paces to the south, and X marks the spot. Ha! <laughs> oh, oh, there goes my tummy again. <laughs> Oh, poor darling. You can't go to work without a good square meal inside you. Here, hold on. You take this bread and cheese and make up some sandwiches when you get to work. Thanks, Granny Murray. <laughs> At least it'll stop your tummy from rumbling, eh? <laughs> Here, do you think we'll find some pirate treasure today? Maybe, me old shipmate. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep me eyes peeled. <laughs> oh! Look at Claude. He's dressed and ready to set sail. <laughs> oh, well done, me hearties. <laughs> you look great, Claude. I like your pirate neckerchief. Hey, great. My very own pirate scarf. Oh, thanks, Rebecca. <laughs> well, i better be getting off to school. Enjoy your day out at the sailing ship, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Now, remember... You can't work without a good square meal inside you. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Yeah, we'll be thinking of you, darling. Me too. Now, you keep a wee eye on Mickey John. Make sure he goes the right way to work. Oh, I don't have much time. How can I speed across the river to work? <coughs> That's right. Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'll take it, take it, take it on a speedboat. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry down the river. Splashing, splashing, splashing through the waves. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Chugga, chugga, chugga slows us down. Rocking, rocking, rocking to the doctor. Splashing, splashing to our stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And hurry, 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 put my tie on. All snazzy and ready to go. I've got some time before the children finish assembly. These books are amazing, all about pirates and sailing ships. <sighs> Look at all those sails. <sighs> ah, Jim lad, weigh the anchor. On your way, boys, we're going to find treasure. Ha <laughs> ha. You OK, Mickey John? Sounded like someone was in trouble. No trouble at all, Louis, until we see pirates on the horizon. Uh, well, we'll let you know if we see any, won't we, Chuck? <laughs> Thank ye, Jim lad. Ha <laughs> ha. We're doing some music with one of the classes today. So we wondered what type of music should we play? Any ideas? Shanties. Shanties? Come all ye young fellows that follows the sea. Way, hey, blow the band down. Hey, that sounds good, Chuck. Come all ye young fellows that follows the sea. Way, hey, blow the man down. Way, hey, and up she rises. 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 Hey, cool hey, idea, Chuck. We can play sea shanties to the kids later on. Let's go. What shall we do with a leafy <laughs> sailor? What shall we do with a leafy sailor? What shall we do? Oh, where's Louie and Chuck gone? Oh, well. Oh. Hmm. I wonder if I could make a model pirate ship as a treat for my class. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's Rebecca's pirate scarf. Hmm. 
I wonder if Rebecca's on her way to see the sailing ship yet. I'd love to skip in River Sea Thingle, River Sea Thingle by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Thingle, River Sea Thingle, that's for me. Oh, my southwest, bosun! Are we looking for pirate treasure? Yeah! <laughs> me too! <laughs> Oh, Rebecca, I bet your dad wishes he could set sail with us too. <laughs> My class will love it if I manage to make a model pirate ship like the one Rebecca's off to see. OK, sit down, everyone. Oh, this should come in handy. And this could be the mast. And these old hankies can make great sails. <coughs> yes? Oh. I'm sorry, everyone, I got a bit carried away. Right, we're going to be thinking about shapes today. Now, pay attention. You too. It's time to get down to some proper work. Oh, I walk with joy when I go to school in the morning. Teaching with my chums and see the children learning. School day, work away. I'm learning, learning, learning when I teach in. I'm teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. To count and teaching to read, learn about birds and plants and seeds, playing games and sports outdoors, blowing my whistle and keeping a score. I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. We're learning, learning, learning when he's teaching. School day, work away. Oh, the secretary smiling as she does her organizing. The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes, and the cleaner keeps us shining. Oh, what a joy when I go to school in the morning. In a dinner queue while the cookie cooks and serves a stew, answering the questions where and why, how does it work and how does it fly? I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. He's learning, learning, learning when he's teaching. School day, work away. All the children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look, I mark their books, the good ones get a smiley. Joy when I go to school in the morning. Oh, these are all great. Look, there's a brilliant triangle and a fantastic square. Excellent. Right, now, before you all head off for lunch, can anyone tell me what this is? Yes. Ship. Yes, a sailing ship. The wind blew the sails and pushed the ships along, and sailors used to sail all around the world in sailing ships, and sometimes even pirates. Ha ha, Jim lad. Pieces of eight. X marks the spot. Ha ha ha. Oh, there goes the dinner bell. Right, we'll carry on with this later, me hearties. Off you go. Right, how am I going to make this pirate ship? Hey, dude. Thanks for giving us the idea to sing sea shanties with the kids. They thought it was really cool. <laughs> we had everyone singing and rolling and rocking. <laughs> well, I'm glad I could be of help. Maybe it's our turn to help you. What are you making? I'm making a pirate ship for my class. And if you want to help, that would be great. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> way hey and up she rises, way hey and up she rises, way hey and up she rises, all way in the morning. <laughs> oh, thanks for your help, guys. No worries, Mickey John. Stay cool. Bye. The class will be back here any minute. Time for a quick nap. <sighs> I wonder how my little pirate's getting on. Enjoy your grub, me hearties. <laughs> now, I think it'd be about time to see round this here pirate ship. Come on then, follow me. <gasps> Who wants to man the pumps? Me. Oh, me too. Right, on you go then, Rebecca. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Come on, girls. Let's have a wee look at where the sailors slept. <gasps> oh. 
Oh, who's first? Me! Come on, Angel! Ready? And big loud ring! And all's well! <laughs> oh, get us! Oh, this is to steer the ship! It's a lot bigger than the steering wheel in Tina's taxi, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Rebecca, I bet your dad would love to have a look round this ship, eh? <laughs> what are you doing now, Daddy? <laughs> oh, you're all back. Wonderful. Um, did you have a good lunch? Yeah. Good, good. So, oh, sorry about my tummy. Um, anyway, have a look at this model ship I've made for you all. <laughs> my tummy again. What was I saying? Oh, yes. I've used lots of different shapes to make my model ship, and we're going to be talking about shapes more this afternoon. Oh, there we go again. This is awful. I haven't had my lunch, my tummy keeps rumbling, and I have to teach the class about shapes. Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped off Rebecca at Granny Murray's. She helped dress up Claude as a pirate. Granny Murray said she was taking the children to see an old sailing ship today. And I got very excited telling her about pirates. But then my tummy kept rumbling really loudly because I'd forgotten to have any breakfast. So she gave me some bread to make sandwiches. At nine o'clock I was in school and I looked through lots of books about pirates and sailing ships. Then I had the idea of making a model pirate ship as a treat for my class. At twelve o'clock the bell rang and the children went off for their lunch. The ferry boat band helped me make the model ship with different shapes and we sang a great sea shanty. At one o'clock, I was tired, so I had a nap. Then, suddenly, I woke up and lunchtime was over. My class were all waiting for me to tell them about shapes. But I'd forgotten to have any lunch and my tummy started rumbling again really loudly. Now remember, you can't work without a good square meal inside you. I've got a good square meal in my bag. Granny Murray's sliced square bread. And if I cut my sandwiches into different shapes, I can eat and teach. It's a race against time. I gotta do it, I gotta do it. I gotta beat the clock before the chime. I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it. I gotta do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done. I'm gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. He's gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bomb. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Listen, everyone, can you hear anything? No. That's because my tummy stopped rumbling. Fantastic! And your coloured shapes are fantastic too. Now, I reckon it's about time we sailed away on our ship of shapes. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. Early in the morning. Ha <laughs> I hope Rebecca's having a rocking good time too. Oh, it's good to be back on dry land. But it's a pity we didn't find any pirate treasure. Daddy, Daddy! Oh, look! Well done, real pirate treasure! <laughs> What'll your dad say when he finds out about this, eh? <laughs> look who's here, Rebecca! Hello, beautiful girl! Hello, Daddy. Hey, have you had a lovely time? You bet we have! Say thank you to Granny Murray. Oh, clever girl. And thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying you can't work without a square meal inside you. Save the day. Oh, fancy that. <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. Come on, Rebecca, let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was playing ground. Chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special?
special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a pirate because we were planning to visit an old sailing ship on the River Fingal. Mickey John said he was going to teach his class about shapes. I took my band of pirates through the city to see the old sailing ship. When we got on board, we had a delicious pirate picnic. Then we set off to explore everywhere in the old sailing ship. It was amazing! Mickey John got very excited when he heard about our trip, but his tummy kept rumbling because he'd forgotten to have any breakfast. He's a right. Shh, Pirate Polly! <laughs> that was my tummy rumbling. Do you think perhaps I need my tea? Me too. Bye bye, honey pies. Come on and get on down to the city Where the fairy folk stands the blue Time to call on Granny 